You're gonna wanna listen up if you own a cell phone. Did you know that someone could steal your cell phone number, port that over to another carrier without your knowledge? I don't even know what that means. Heather All with the Better Business Bureau is here to tell us what in the world <laughs> is going on. So this is kind of a new scam. It's not the traditional phone call or email scam. Um, a scammer is going to get a hold of your, your information, including your cell phone number. Oftentimes they'll call a new carrier, and then what, what they call is porting, so switching that account from your current carrier over to the new carrier. So you can see a lot of problems with this, right? Uh, as soon as they get access to your cell phone, the, the account, boy, they have your emails, they have your Facebook or your Instagram, they have access to anything that you have on your phone. So that's what? pretty insidious. So even if you have like saved passwords on your phone, they could get access then to bank accounts and other well, things? Well, the or? passwords save a little bit differently, but mm -hmm. if you have them stored in the cloud or you have you know, any of those pieces, yeah, they have, have access to an awful lot. Buckets. Yeah, so I, uh, <laughs> I just can't even believe that people I'm think panicking. like this, so I know. <laughs> well, you can protect yourself, right? Okay. Um, call your current carrier and see what they have in place for security. Can you add a PIN number? Can you add an authorization? They have to call you before they release that account. Those are a couple mm -hmm. things. And then watch your cell phone. Be aware of what's going on. Oftentimes it'll move to like an emergency screen. So if you've ever called 911 on your phone, they can hold that phone kind of open while they investigate that 911 call. It kind of looks the same. Basically your account has been moved, so your phone isn't working the way it should. And then also, of course, be aware that when you're on a public Wi-Fi, connection and you're taking authorization codes, PIN numbers, things like that, um, switch over to your data plan instead of using Wi-Fi. So how does this even happen? So they, they just get my well, phone number and then can port it? or Right. And we give our cell phone numbers out all the time. Yeah. We don't think of them as personal identifying information. Um, usually they already have some information about you, an address, maybe they know your mom's maiden name because that's oftentimes something that we use as a, a hint word, right? Mm -hmm. um, and they'll try and see what they can get away with. Sometimes they'll call or, or you'll fill out a quiz on Facebook and give information that you probably ought not to. Um, so usually they're getting the information, unfortunately, from us. I was going to say, I can think of many times when you sign up to you know, win free yogurt from somewhere or <laughs> right? do anything and you put in, here's my email, here's my address to mail me my coupon, yeah. here's my cell phone number. You know, even if you don't feel like you're giving out your social security number, there's still ways you're unprotected. Absolutely. We just have to think about what information we're giving out and why are we giving it. Um, is it really important to know which house the sorting hat would put you <clears throat> in if you fill out this quiz, right? So you have to think about what you're doing. So call your carrier and say, hey, I want to put a pin on this. Or what was the other thing you mentioned? Um, or some kind of an authorization. So they have to call you um, or some kind of authentication, whether it's an email or just see what they have available. Yeah. Wow. The carriers are a little different. And it is good to protect the whole family. If you have a big yeah. group of people on your plan, Absolutely. just one call could help protect so many people. Absolutely. Yeah. Good stuff, Heather. Anything else you want to add? Just be aware. Think about what you're doing, right? Creeps me out. <laughs> I know. All right, it's Friday. Stay with us. We're going to wrap it up right after this.